uh, question number four in the last session. Huh? I'm not sure. Did anybody, anybody please confirm. Which question number we did in the last session? Oh, uh, yes. Question four. Question four. Okay, then I must, have, I, I must have given you question number five for the homework. Yeah, yes, sir. Right question. Anybody having any problem? Friend and Chitna, any, both of you are having any difficulty solving it? No, sir. Done. So, Prenda, you can the question, na? Prenda? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, kindly tell me the. Uh, we need to. Uh, so you must have prepared the realization account for this question, na? And then pass the journal entries. What you, or you just pass the journal entries. Yeah, nah. You were supposed to prepare the. You just pass it online. Okay. All right. So, can you please uh, tell me those, the general entry that you did? One by one. For the first, for the first transaction, general entry will be. A bank account debit to realization account. Fifty thousand. That's right. That's good. Next. And then second one, realization account debit to bank account, 10,000. Okay, all right, all right. So, uh, Prenda, could you please tell me the remaining general entries for the third transaction and fourth transaction? A realization account debit to X capital account. Mm -hmm. Next one. Realization account debit to Amrit's capital account. All right, so yeah, uh, that's right. So I'm, I'm assuming that you must have completed the entire question correctly. So I'm moving on to the next question. I think apart from question number five, I must have given you question number six for the homework as well. Right? Question number six I gave you for the homework. Is this the question also that I gave for the homework? Because I'm not able to recall, please, any one of you. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, okay. So you must have completed this question as well. But just tell me if uh, both of you have any, any doubt, understanding anything in these questions that I gave you for the homework. No doubts? No, no, no. Okay, then. So moving on to the next question. Question number. Let me check which question we can do. All right, so we'll start our discussion with this question, question number eight. This question is also a journal entry based question. See, in, in this chapter, you will find two variety of questions. Firstly, there will be a question wherein you will be required to prepare the ledgers. Like, question will be asking you to prepare the realization account, partner's capital account, loan account, or, uh, uh, yeah, these kind of account, bank, bank and cash account. And there are then some questions wherein you will be asked to pass the journal entry. Now, student, frequently ask which variety of question is more important, whether in the examination question will be asked for preparing the ledgers. That means we, we will be asked to prepare the realization account, partner capital account, or cash or bank account, or the journal entry type question. So most of the time from this chapter, you're, you're, you are generally asked a, a question which requires you to pass the journal entry. So journal entry, Type question is more important than the question wherein we are required to prepare the ledger. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that we are not. Uh, we should not focus on the ledgers. Or we should not focus upon the question that requires us to prepare the realization or the other ledgers. But the thing that I'm trying to tell you is that most often 
uh, most frequently the question that is answered in examination is based on the journal entry. So we should pay high attention, more attention upon the question that is based on the journal entry. Right. Okay, so I hope this is clear to both of you. Moving on to question number eight. Let me just read this question for you and I want you to try this question first and then I'll show you the correct solution. Okay, so question number eight says, uh, pass the journal entries to record the following unrecorded asset and liability in the book of RS and Priya. Item uh, adjustment A says, there was an old fundage in the firm which had been written off completely in the book. This was sold for rupees 3000. Then Ashish, an old customer whose account, whose account, whose account for rupees one thousand was written off, has bent it in the previous year, paid sixty percent of the amount. Paris agreed to keep over the firm's goodwill at a valuation of thirty thousand. Then there was an old typewriter which had been written off completely from the book. It was estimated to realize rupees four hundred. It was taken by Priya and ST at an estimated price less than the less than twenty five percent. Then we have uh, adjustment E where it says there were 100 shares of rupees 10 each in Star Limited acquired at a cost of rupees 2000, which had been written off completely from the book. These shares are valued rupees 6 each and divided among the partners in the profit giving. Okay, so there are a few points which might uh, seem problematic for you. You will have some difficulty passing the general, general might be. Uh, might face some difficulty passing the general entry for those transactions. I think the other transactions are easy. You will be able to pass the general entry for the other transaction. I just want you to try the question first and then I'll show you the solution. I'll, I'll solve it for you. All right, Prerna and Shifa, do you want to try this question or shall I do this for you? So can you do it? Okay, so Prerna want me to do it. Shifa, sorry, Shifa want me to do it. Prerna, what do you think you'll yes, be sir. able to do it? Okay, let's, let's just do one thing. Let me just solve this question for you. Sorry? I think four entry, I will be able to do it. Four entries will be able to do. That means yes, uh, you will have some difficulty in the last one, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so let, let me just solve this question for you. I'll give you another question where in you can try that question on your own. But let me solve this question for you. Just give me a moment. All other questions in the chapter are mostly journal entry type questions. So let me do this for you and all other I think you will be able to do it. All right, so first in the first transaction, first adjustment, it says there was an old furniture in the form which had been written off completely in the book. All right, written off completely in the book. This was sold for rupees 3000. So this basically means that, uh, that there is a, a old unrecorded furniture which is being sold in the market. All right, and we are we are recovering three thousand out of it. 
so you need to think this way that if it needed to be recorded if we were supposed to prepare the realization account let's suppose we are preparing the realization account on which side of the realization account we should record this since we are able to realize 3000 on account of sale of old furniture i think we should record that on we will be recording recording that on the credit side of the realization account right so since we are going to record that on the credit side of the realization account under the heading cash so here we will pass the general entity as cash account debit cash or you can also use bank cash or bank account debit to realization account and you can also write down the narration old unrecorded furniture sold and amount that we collected is 3000 I hope this is clear, Prerna. Yes, sir. If I is that clear to you as well? Yes, sir. Okay. Then we have another adjustment. Ashish, an old customer whose account for rupees one thousand was written off as bad debt in the previous year, paid sixty percent of the amount. So this is basically recovery of recovery of bad debt. And for this, the general entry will be uh, again on the credit side. We will be recording the cash collected on account of the recovery of the bad debt. So the general entry for this will also be cash account or bank account debit to realization account. And we can write down the narration as being the debt recovery amount sixty per at uh all right so one thousand was the bad debt and we are able to recover sixty per six hundred. Next transaction, next adjustment says, RS agreed to take over the firm's goodwill at a valuation of thirty thousand. Tell me, what should we do? What should be the general entry for this? RS have agreed to take over the goodwill of the firm. So that means RS personal account needs to be debited, right? Yes, sir. From the asset is being taken over by the RS, we will record that on the credit side of the realization account, but. Paris personal account need to be debit, so we'll write this as Paris capital account debit. realization being goodwill taken over by 
being total taken away. And amount for that is 30,000. All right, then the next item says, there was an old furniture, oh sorry, old typewriter, which had been written off completely from the book. It was estimated to realize 400. It was taken by Priya at an estimated price less 25%. All right. So basically there was an old furniture, right? There was old furniture, so old typewriter, I'm sorry, old typewriter which uh, we have already written off completely, but we will be able to realize 400 out of it. And this uh, need to be, this will be taken taken by Priya at an estimated price of price less by 25%. So as consider that the current val market value of the typewriter is 400. Consider this as the market value of the current market value of the typewriter is 400. Which Priya will be taking over at a price less by less 25%. That means at a discount of 25%. So that means Priya's personal account needs to be debited again. So we will be passing the inventory for this as Priya's capital account debit. realization account and narration will be being old type item we can add 25% Discount. Market value was 400. Taken at a discount of 25%. That means taken over at 300. Right? Is this clear? Everybody? Yes, sir. If I is this clear to you? Yes. And finally, one last transaction, one last adjustment says that uh, there were one one hundred share of rupees ten each in Star Limited at a cost of two thousand, which had been written off completely from the book. These share are valued at six each and divided among the partners in their profit sharing ratio. Okay, so question is trying to tell you that uh, the firm have made the investment in 100 shares of Star Limited of rupees 10 each. So total investment, the co co cost of total investment was 1,000, 100 share at rupees 10 each. And same shares are now value, will be now valued at 6 each and will be divided among the partners in their profit sharing ratio. Now, first of all, see, uh, what was the value of the investment? Value of the, how much share uh, firm have uh, bought in the Star Limited? 100 shares having a value of 10 each. That means total value of investment. I'm not talking about the market value. Total investment value was 1,000. Right. Now, these share, since the firm is dissolving, we have decided to value these share under shares at rupees 6 each. That means current value will be estimated at 600. Or you can say this will be taken over at 6 each. And this will be given to both the partners in the equal ratio. 
question was saying that it need to be distributed among the partners in the proposition and since the profit sharing ratio is not given in the question then we will simply presume that profit sharing ratio is 1 is to 1 that means half of the share will be distributed between uh, both the partners right paras and priya so paras will be getting shares of 300 and uh priya will be taking over shares of 300 so what question is trying to tell you that uh total share was 100 at 10 each this share is basically taken over by priya and paras collectively in the equal proportion and at which at what price it will be taken over at 6 per share all right so that means paras and priya's capital account need to be debited by 300 and realization account need to be credited by 600 Paras capital account debit. Priya's capital account debit. Two. Realization account. Three hundred debit. Three hundred debit. Six hundred credit. Right. Everybody understood. Is this clear? Yes or no? Yes, sir. It's you can also clear. write down the narration for this. Being hundred shares distributed between partners equal. All right, so this is it. Uh, we recorded all the adjustment in the journal entry form. I hope this is clear both of you, Prerna Shikha, and also Janab. Yes, sir, it's clear. It's clear. All right. So I did a question for you, and I want to try the next question. And in the next question as well, you need to pass the journal entry. So here we go. Question number nine, please. it is a it only contains four adjustment so that is quite easy i i hope you will be able to solve it and i'll give you one more question after it just quickly solve this and let me know the correct general entry for this question question number 9 anybody having any difficulty understanding anything please tell me
What happened done everyone? Tifa, Prerna, Zainab, still solving it. Guys, Prerna, Tifa, am I audible? Sir, done. Done, done okay. sir. Yeah, done. Okay. All right, so tell me the entries. Tell me the opener, you tell me the first entry. Amman's capital account debit, bank account debit to realization account. Amman's capital account debit, bank account debit to realization account. That is right. Okay, okay very good. And just a Next one for the next. Uh, Shifa, you tell me the third entry for the next one for the B. Profit and loss account for showing credit balance of 15,000 on the last year of the year. Tell me what should we, what should we do with this? Um, Aman's capital account debit. Hush's capital account debit to profit and loss account. 7,500, 7,500 and 15,000. Shifa, Shifa, just a moment. Shifa, we, this is not a loss. This is PNL. This is a PNL credit balance. Credit balance indicate profit. And why, you, why are you debiting Aman and Hush account? Debiting account basically means we will be deducting that much amount from their account. Right, but since in the question it says PNL credit balance was there, not fifteen thousand. Credit balance basically means we had a profit of fifteen thousand. The equity distributed among among uh, between the partners. So that means Aman account and Harsh account need to be credited, isn't it? Yes. Means sir. general entry should be PNL account debit to Aman account and Harsh capital account. Yeah. Right. You understood, understood that, Prina? Yes, sir. Yeah. Right, uh, understood? Yes, I understood. Understood. Then the next transaction was this harsh loan of rupees six thousand was settled by paying fifty five hundred. Now, then do you want to do you want to tell me the entry for this? You want to tell me the entry for the C transaction here at this point? No response. Okay. Uh, Reina, you tell me the correct entry for this. A realization account debit to bank account. Realization account debit to bank account. Yeah. Sure. Realization account debit. Why are we debiting realization account? See, this is this is harsh loan. Na? Partners loan is never transferred to realization account. Do, do, do you understand that? Harsh loan, mm -hmm. harsh is a partner, right? Yeah. And harsh loan need to be transferred to bank account. Okay. Any profit or loss arising on discharge of that loan will be transferred to the realization account. That is a different thing. But loan getting paid or, or being paid is not to be reflected in the realization account. All right. So uh, basically, the general entry for this should be a uh, harsh loan account will be debited. Why we are debiting harsh loan account? Because we are, we are paying paying off the harsh loan. So uh, our liabilities must be reducing. Liability is reducing. Whenever liability reduces, we need to debit liability account, right? So harsh loan account will be debited. Is that clear? And since we are paying him 500, 5,500, instead of 6,000, we paid him 5,500 only. So that means that we have a profit here. We should be the amount due upon, uh, uh, amount due was 6,000, but we are settling the loan by paying off 5500 that means we have a 
situation of profit and since we have a profit that, that means the realization account need to be now realization account need to be tell me debit with profit no the realization account need to be credited yes sir all yes. expenses it be debited in the realization account na profits need to be credited so har so general it will be harsh loan account realize or so harsh loan account debit realization account to bank account is that clear you want to write this down somewhere please write it correct entry will be harsh loan account debit 6000 to bank account 5500 Two realization account five hundred. I hope this is clear. Friend Nashita, shall we move to the next item? Yes. Next adjustment. Okay, next one. Wait, sir, can you repeat? Sorry. Can you please can repeat you it? You want me to repeat the journal entry? Yeah. Say. Yes. Our entry was harsh, harsh loan account debit six thousand to bank account thirty five hundred, and remaining amount will be credited to realization account. That means to realization account five hundred. Harsh loan account debit six thousand to realization account to to bank account thirty five hundred to realization account five hundred. Then. We move on to the next adjustment D. In the D adjustment, it says says in the question the firm had paid realization expenses amounting to five thousand on behalf of Harsh, who had to pay the expenses. Anyway, so basically, uh, expenses uh, expenses are being paid off uh, uh, by the firm. So the general entry for this will be, and obviously Harsh needs to pay off. Pay, Harsh is required to pay. Uh, these realization expenses, so we will be paying. We will be charging this amount to the Harsh Capital account. So the general entry for this will be Harsh Capital account debit to bank. Harsh uh, Harsh needed to pay this amount from his personal account to Harsh Capital account debit to bank account. Harsh Capital account debit to bank. Got it? Anyone still having any doubt? No sir. So far is that clear to you? Then is that clear to you? Yes sir. Okay then. So let's move to the next question. Question number ten, please. Question number ten. Again, we need to pass the general entries. There are three partners: Rohit, Pranal, Sarth, and it is prepared journal entry after journal entries for the following after various assets, other than cash and bank and third party liabilities have been transferred to realization. Okay, so Pranal agreed to pay off his wife's loan. Total creditor of five. Ah, uh, total creditors were forty thousand. Credit was to be ten thousand. Were given a piece of furniture costing eight thousand full, and final settlement remaining creditors allowed a discount of ten percent. Now, see second second adjustment is very important. In this adjustment, it says basically giving you information about the inter settlement of the asset and liability. And I've already told you that no entry or no uh, posting is required for the inter settlement of the asset with the liability or liability with the asset. Right, inter settlement of the asset and liability is not recorded anywhere. Neither journal entry is required for that. So in the B B adjustment says where where it says total creditors of rupees five forty thousand were a uh, forty thousand out of which ten thousand were given a piece of furniture costing eight thousand in post settlement. So ten thousand of creditors were adjusted to the furniture. This particular Event which is happening need not to be shown in the journal. But the remaining creditor, as information is given as remaining creditor, will be allowed a discount of ten percent. So only this part need to be need to be shown in the journal. I hope it is clear. Then in the C adjustment says 
Rohit had given a loan of seventy thousand to the firm, which was duly paid. So Rohit's loan is uh, the firm is discharging the loan that is due to work Rohit. Machine which was not required in the book was taken over by Kunal. The firm had a debit balance of fifteen thousand for property and account. Now this time we are provided with the P and L account debit balance. Earlier that was credit balance. Credit balance indicate profit. Debit balance indicate a loss. Sadha paid realization expenses sixteen thousand out of his private fund who was to get a remuneration of fifteen thousand for completing the realization process and was responsible to bear all the realization expenses. All right, guys. I want you to try this question. If you face any difficulty in any the any of these adjustments. I'm I'm right here. Do ask me. I'll help. Otherwise, I'm waiting for you to finish this question and give me the answers. Kindly pass the general entry for all these adjustments one by one. Yes,
Dann Schiffer. Dann Yes, sir. It's resolving it. Hello, you're done. Hello. Yes, sir. You're solving it, huh? Okay. Okay, one minute. So if it is done, I'm showing you the correct journal entry for the question, and I want all of you to please cross check your solution with that and if you are having some issue then let me know this is the journal entry that you were supposed to do for this question yeah first for the first adjustment which says kunal agreed to pay off his wife's loan of rupees 6000 for that your general entry will be a realization account debit to kunal's capital account kunal will be kunal's capital account will be subject to uh, basically kunal is taking over the wife's loan na? So realization account will be debited as capital account. Then uh, B uh, B says total creditors of forty thousand out of this ten thousand were uh, used to adjust with the furniture, right? And remaining creditors that is thirty thousand is paid at a discount of ten thousand. So for that the general entry will be we will be paying thirty thousand. We will be paying uh, creditor having a book value of thirty thousand at a ten percent discount. That means twenty seven thousand. So the general entry will be cash account debit to realize sorry realization account debit to cash account. Okay. And for the third one, Rohit had given a loan of seventy thousand to the firm, which was duly paid. Which was duly paid. Let me generate it for this. Tell me the generate it for the adjustment C. Friend, now you 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 can be first. Rohit's loan account debit to cash account. Rohit's loan account debit to cash. Account. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Then for the next one. Machine was not required in the book was taken over by Kunal three thousand. There uh, its expected value was five thousand. So okay, this is, this one is easy. I think you must have done that. This will be uh, Kunal's capital account will be personally charged for three thousand to Kunal's capital account that will be realized. And for and yeah, the remaining one are also easy. So this is the solution. Kindly tell me if you are having any problem with the question or any any. Things. You did the same thing, na? Everybody, Shifa, Prerna. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So guys, this is it. Uh, this is how we pass the general entry in case of resolution. I have. Let me check if I have any more question available which I can give you for this homework. Let me just check. So I have few question. Uh, I'll do one thing. I'll prepare. I'm I'm just going to prepare the assignment for the chapter. So I'll be sharing the question with you through the assignment. All right. So right now I'm not giving any any homework. I'll be sharing the assignment. You need to you will be supposed to solve those question in the uh, uh the assignment question that I'll be sharing you. You need to solve solve those question too. Questions will be based on the uh the solution wherein you will be. Supposed to pass the general entry, and I'll add one or two question wherein you will be will be you will be required to prepare the uh what do we call that ledgers? All right, so realization capital and 